What's happening, party people? I am in the San Jose area. Last night, went to go get some laundry done. What a mess. Somebody sent me to a local washeteer. Went up there. Half the machines don't work. One of the machines I put money in, started eating my money. Wouldn't take any more. I got customer service on the phone. They act like they couldn't speak English and uh, didn't want to give me my $1.75 back. Finally, wrestled with them long enough to get my $1.75 back. Had to do a video chat with them to show them that the machine was rejecting money and wouldn't start. So then I found out they got some signs written in Spanish. I was watching some suspicious activity going on. I found out for every wash I did, they would give me a credit of a dollar towards drying. So they would load the first dollar in the dryer. But that was not in English. Now why that is not in English, I do not know. And it specifically said on there in Spanish, this is a Thursday special. It was Thursday. So I called the helper over there who could not speak any English at all and pointed at the sign and pointed at that dryer as to say, I would like to have my $2 you know, a dollar per load. So they had to call this person back up. Mm, mm, mm. Act like they were doing me a favor by giving me my money back out of that busted machine and did not want to give me my dollar credit for my washes. Uh, why y'all doing this to me? You know, it's like, if I can't speak Spanish, I didn't supposed to get a dollar credit? Man, what a hustle. Anyway, they gave me one dollar credit, not two. I just took what I could get and got out of there. But I did get my laundry done. So that's good. Oh, I had another issue. I, I've never seen this before. You know the wash machines, you load them in the front. They got the glass. You can watch your clothes going around in there. One of my Tide Pods got stuck in the door. Wouldn't dissolve all the way. So these clothes probably got a little soap in them still. They probably didn't rinse right. But anyway, I got that done. Besides all that, I am in the San Jose area, going to help a few people here. This video clips that I got going on today is I met with uh, CJ. CJ used to do, I think, all of the exhaust work for IPD. Now he told me, now because we got a, a void in the system of people being able to get angle flange downpipes. Now I understand that things run more efficient when you have an angle flange downpipe versus a straight flange downpipe or a conical downpipe. But for us P80 folks, it's hard to find these downpipes, even for P2 folks. Now, I've had a talk with him. I met with him. I went to his shop. He has the material to do most of it, but he ain't doing one-ups. You know, he's not interested in that. So, if there are... 20 people that would like to have a custom angle flange downpipe made, call or text me, send me a message on one of my social media outlets. And if we could get 20 people that want angle flange downpipes for P80 cars, I think primarily front wheel drive, but I told them there's people that's got all wheel drive cars that would like these things too. He said he's willing to make a run of them. Call or text me. I'll go over pricing with you guys and we'll see if we want to get him to make a run of these things. Other than that, he's got a website here. I'll sit, put the link right here in my description area. This is the website. He has a lot of uh, Volvo stuff that he can sell. He manufactures a few things. And if you send him a private message, he may make custom things that he no longer offers on his website for whatever reason. So uh, give him a, a holler. He's got a lot of those a Volvo 850 or T5R motorsport badges that he sells. He's got them on his website. He has sold them on eBay before, stuff like that. But check out his website. See if you need some stuff from him. And certainly, if you want an angle flange downpipe, 
uh, three inch, let me know so we can maybe do somewhat of a group buy from them just to get them to make those things. Because right now, you have to buy a whole exhaust to get that angle flange downpipe. Not real fun, $1,000 or so. So anyway, great fitment, great manufacturer, uh, really good Volvo enthusiast, and he's offered to help us out if you guys want it. So let me know if we're on the schedule. Hope to see you guys. Diane's dentist appointment didn't go as well as I'd like. There's nothing they can do for her that is temporary. It's got to be permanent work. She's going to need an extraction and an implant probably. So got to figure out how we're going to deal with that. Uh, hopefully without breaking my trip. Having to go back Cincinnati to get that done and then come back here. Because wherever you get that done at, it's probably a three-week process coming back and forth to the dentist so kind of sucks anyway appreciate you guys watching hope you enjoy today's clips welcome to hanging out with robert that's me this video contains things that i encounter throughout the day if for some reason i complete a task and you would like to see the details you could click on the link in the description area below this video also contains tips and tricks that i learned throughout the years i plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days after that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. I'm here kicking off the Volvo Mingle Day at a top secret parts location for Volvo parts. We're going to be checking it out and seeing what's in store at this storage facility. Here we are, folks. Hanging out with CJ in his VR. And then there's Steve with his T5M V70. I think that's 01 or 02. Wine Haven, boys. Let's go get a bite to eat. get to California you might want a Costco membership just to get cheaper gas 535 instead of 609 850 race car right here CJ see race car tires they're slick See? Weight reduction. Nothing in there. See those front tires? Those are for racing. Nice wheel. Woohoo! That European headlight lenses. Ready to burn out on the slicks on the back. Boots too. Look at yeah. this, man. Okay. No. A brand new 850 boot and a brand new wooden shift knob. <laughs> this is what happens when you visit people around in the Volvo community. They tease you with stuff. <laughs> Here you go, folks. You didn't want it. The 118 sure scales. 850s. And I didn't know they had a red R wagon. Damn. Yeah. That is sweet. I got yellow one upstairs too. I didn't even know I had it. <laughs> so, so you have a couple that you can sell? I got some of the red ones. The the well, I don't have one out here. They're the gym. Here we are, folks. Back at the S6R. We may have a couple of oil leaks we need to take care of. One uh, coming down around the turbo somewhere. Another one. Looks like it's leaking out of the front of the engine. I see oil down there, possibly a cam seal. So I'm gonna remove this brace here so I can get behind this engine a little better. Check out this possible turbo leak. All right, right there under the timing belt guard, there's a little nut on the mount that mounts the bracket guide or the bracket onto the engine bolt there's a little 
square looking tab there. There was a drop of oil on that. So I think it might have been residual. Not sure. Just trying to make sure we don't have any seals leaking on here. So I washed that stuff down pretty heavily with brake parts cleaner. I'm going to try to spray up behind there. Make sure we don't have any oil leaks coming out of any of these seals. So I'm going to spray it out down here. And then I'm going to uh, fry the engine up. Unfortunately, you got a turbo from somebody. And that turbo was messed around with but if you look up there you could see oil coming around the hot side where the bolts make the CHRA onto the exhaust flange and there's a drop of oil down there man that kind of sucks royally See that drop of oil there right there in the middle? Makes it look like the turbo's leaking oil, which means it probably need to be rebuilt. So that's sad. So we got a possible turbo need to be rebuilt, and we're making sure we don't have any oil leaks here. So let me go ahead and spray this down a little bit more, especially behind these covers, and fire this thing up. Make sure we don't have any oil leaks. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.